I have the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G and we are going to boot this phone up for the first time and set it up. So the power button is on the side and to boot this phone or to start it, just long press that button until you see the Samsung logo. There you go. And allow the phone to boot up. That should start to the welcome screen. So here, choose your language. Mine is selected to English already, so I'll leave it at that. If you prefer to use a different language, then you can choose a different language. So just select and tap OK. For me, I'll just continue. So I'll tap on Start. And then I'll be prompted to insert a SIM card, which I'll do later. So for now, you have to agree to end user license agreement and privacy policy, and then tap on Agree. If you also want to send diagnostics data to Samsung, you can select that as well. Now here, if you want to, you can transfer your data from a previous Android or Galaxy phone, or even an iPhone or iPad, or you can choose to set up manually, which is what I'll choose. So it's going to prompt you uh, to sign in to a Wi-Fi network. So I'll just go to that Wi-Fi network, put in my Wi-Fi password, and connect. And then once you do that, your phone may restart. Okay, so it may prompt you to restart and you have to just accept and restart. Once the phone restarts, it will give you the option to copy apps and data from uh, a Google account or another phone. I'll just choose don't copy. Then you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account. You can do that right away or skip and do that later. Now I prefer to skip and do it later and confirm I want to skip. And then on the Google services page, you scroll down and tap on accept. And then you'll get to a point where you can set up a pattern, password, pin, fingerprint, or face recognition to use it as your lock screen for your phone. Again, you can skip that and do that later. And then you have the option to sign in with your Samsung account. You can go ahead and sign in, or if you want to skip, just tap on forgot password link. So if you tap on that, you're going to have the option to set up later in settings. So tap on that. And then of course you'll see why you need a Samsung account. Just go ahead and skip once again. And then you should see Samsung legal information. You can skip that once again. And then Samsung service permissions, you have to agree to that. And then you can choose your display mode, whether it's light mode or dark mode. I'll leave it at light mode. And we are almost there right now. Now you can skip the Samsung tour because I'll be making all the videos you need to use this phone. Tap on next and it says I'm all set up and all I have to do now is tap on finish. Now you might be prompted to install some apps but then you can tap on later just to do that later. And there we are inside the interface of the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below. And also, I'll be making subsequent videos on how to set this phone up, uh, some things to add, some things to remove, and customize on this phone.